Hey everyone, today we're here at the swamp and the uh, Culver Grate actually has a bunch of stuff built up on it. We're going to see what we can do today. Whether or not I can move this out of the way, we're going to find out. This is kind of cool, look at this grate that the DOT made. Welding rebar, fence posts together. I just had to disconnect a few metal ties they had. I'll reconnect those afterwards. But if you look down inside here, you can see the water spilling because there's so much stuff built against the grate. I think we'll be able to get this to accelerate a ton if I get the grate off, clean it, and put it back. Now let's go see what's exactly across the street where this is coming out. It's nice out today. Can you hear that on the camera? It's sleeting. And it's coming out right here. We'll get a second camera on this. Woo! All right, let's get started at this.
All right, everyone, we definitely got that flowing a lot better than it was. Definitely a lot more water coming out. There was probably a ton of water when the grate was removed because that grate is cutting its capacity by a bit. I think in this situation, it's kind of dumb having that grate even there. It clogs too easily. Come over and take a look at this. Put the grate back on how I found it. It was kind of leaning away like that when I did find it. It's because the posts aren't driven in correctly. Also, when I was, when I had it off, there's a bunch of rocks in the way. Simply, the grate is just too small. It clogs way too easily. I think the best situation they could possibly do here at a very cheap price is build a grate to size, but have a piece of rebar probably every four inches. It would prevent the beaver from going inside and building a dam inside where it's very difficult to remove, and it would allow all this small stuff like grass to pass without clogging it, because that's basically what's clogging this today, grass. This is not beavers at all. Look at that, there's still snow everywhere. Yep, it's just stupid. This grate, its sole purpose is to prevent beavers from going inside the culvert and causing a problem. The grate being here itself actually causes it to clog more often. The purpose of the grate is so the clogs are much easier to remove. They need a proper beaver structure. Whether it be a big triangular grate extending from it that they could periodically clean off in an emergency, it could go over inside. But this right here will not work. They need a better structure for the long term. Otherwise, it's going to be constant maintenance checks. I even see a pile of debris here from the last time the DOT came out here to do this job. But it's flowing a lot better. And we can expect this to drop a bit. I can see a bunch of areas, especially off to the sides. It's deeper than it typically is on a normal day. It's a little bit flooded. But everybody, I hope today's video was interesting. Thanks for watching. And have a great day. Hey everyone. Today we're at this culvert, which we have to come in and clog every year or so. A lot of you may recognize it. Crystal clear water, nice waterfall. Culvert's right there, you can see the junk around it. Because of the way it's crushed by the idiot with the excavator, I found in years past, it's way easier just to do it by hand than even get the rake out. See the water's currently going down there to that culvert and under the street. That flow will completely stop once we get this one opened. Water's chilly. Ah, oh, there it goes. Got a ton of pull. Ooh, my whole arm's numb, that's nice and cold. And the drainage ditch is already reversing back into the pool. This will be drained in a few minutes. And we got a nice whirlpool above it. Nice. All right, now you can see a whirlpool right above the culvert as the water now drains back. It's now blasting out across the street. 
can see the leaves getting really just sucked right into it over there. We got the whirlpool over there making noises now. I've already dropped close to four or five inches. It's dropping fast. Leaf after leaf is getting sucked in. Still dropping, the culvert is about to show itself. The crinkled part of the culvert is now out of the water. Look at that big clump of leaves about to get sucked in. It looks like debris is still getting stuck to it. Like more stuff is now collecting around it. Culvert is now a couple inches out of the water. We've now dropped, dropped nearly a foot. Oh, there's more leaves starting to get sucked into it. Let's zoom into that a little bit. All right, we're still dropping, about to hit that point where it's entering the pool at the same speed it's leaving. Oh, I, now I hear water. We, we just broke the siphon at the end of it. It's now open beyond the crinkly part from the idiot with the excavator. And now there's a current starting to form. All the sludge and sediment at the bottom is now beginning to get moved over there. All the leaves that have collected coming down the stream, just getting stuck in this pool. All right, let's go and get another shot. can now see the current of the water slowly dismantling this pile of leaves bringing them over here to the culvert pipe and that's about it no more dropping it's now entering about the same speed it's leaving